Hey guys, I'm Josie. Um, today I'm going to go over some different cruise hacks for newbies that um, I wish I would have known on my first cruise. We have been on four cruises, um, three different cruise lines. We've been on Carnival twice, we've been on Norwegian Cruise Line, and we've been on Royal Caribbean. Um, and so we're not like professional cruisers or anything, but we do have our fifth cruise planned for this upcoming March. And I just remember with our first cruise, I was kind of lost, had no idea, um, you know, which way was up, which way was down, and what all I should bring. And so I'm kind of going to kind of go over those things with you today. Um, the first thing is you will get cards like this when you when you get on there. It's going to be your um, your sale card is what they call it. This card is for everything, basically. This is for your spending. This is for your... Um, room key as some cases on some cruise lines you actually have to use it to put it in the air conditioner to get the air conditioner to work um so this key is everything so one of my main things that i suggest doing is getting a lanyard it could be a lanyard like this um it could be one like this it has a drawstring with it um, you can have the little plastic piece that goes on this that holds it in there. Um, but I will let you know on the plastic piece, you have to take it out of that plastic every time to do it in your door. So I don't know if that's the best option or not. But just a lanyard like this or one like this is your best case. Um, it'll help you keep up with this card. Because like I said, it's your everything, really. Um, my number one point for this card is when you go to check in and you sign in and you're about to board the ship they're going to ask you if you want to do cash or if you want to do card um, i will suggest this is just what we have done on every cruise is doing cash for two reasons one a lot of the times after you get off your cruise sometimes there's a lot of different charges on your card and it takes a lot of time for your bank to catch up on it and two if you put cash you have a set amount in there so it's more easy for you to not spend as much money as you would if you had your card connected. Because when you have cash, you're just like, okay, I have this certain amount, I can spend this certain amount. And then you can always go down to the service desk and keep adding more cash. Um, so I just suggest cash. You can do card, you can do whatever. If you're going to do card, just make sure you let your bank know before you leave what port you're going to be in um, and that you're going to be on this cruise for this long so they know that uh, don't like accidentally lock your card or anything like that. Um, my second point is pre-fill out your registration. Uh, usually we do this a couple weeks before we put in all of our passport information. Um, we make sure all of our our stuff's right. Make sure that you've booked your port, uh, your port parking. Um, we've only done it out of uh, Galveston, Texas. Um, so we always usually park in the port of Galveston. For one, it's a lot safer. There's other options that are cheaper. You can do whatever you want to do, but that's just what we do. Um, we pre-fill everything out, so you make sure you have that ahead of time. And um, if anything needs to be printed, we go ahead and print that. Um, make copies of your driver's license and your passport. And I say that just in case for any reason you lose those things, you can have copies of them in your safe. There's a safe in the room you get to set your own code to, and you can put anything, camera, cell phones, um, whatever it is, you can put it inside um, that safe and keep it protected. So I always make multiple copies, two copies of each, our driver's license and our passport, and I put it in there. Um, so that's always good because you never know what's going to happen or if you're going to need that. Um, my third point is on most cruise lines, there is a, um, there they will allow you to take a 12 pack of Cokes and, um, you can take it per person. So I can have a 12 pack and my husband can have a 12 pack and then also two bottles of wine. Now, depending on what cruise ship you go on, just check their on online and check their stuff to see if you're able to do those things, um, but most of them allow it. Like I said, we've been on three different cruise lines. All of them have allowed it. Um, so you just need to check with your particular cruise line and see what's best. Um, so when you get on the cruise, your very first cruise, they're going to 
every day that you're on there have one of these sheets. This is a daily activity sheet. This has everything that's going on on the ship at every single time, um, different things that they're offering. This is an awesome little thing, and I will say try everything that you can, especially if it's your first cruise, try everything that you can. Um, I bring a highlighter or a pen, because sometimes they may put one in your room, sometimes they may not, and I do that, and I highlight the activities that I want to do. So I know that at this certain time we want to go to here, at this certain time and we can kind of map it out, because cruise ships, I will tell you, you won't be able to see everything. You will not. I mean, if you... You'd have to spend like a full day just walking around because it is so big and, and you'll have all kinds of different places. You'll kind of learn your way um, within like the second or third day. You'll be like, okay, I kind of know what's going on. But um, bring a highlighter or a pen and highlight or mark which activities you want to do. Uh, there is two of our favorite ones. Is There's a love and marriage show. It may be called something different. Um, but that one's always hilarious. They have like three different couple, like three different newlyweds, you know, middle, and then they've been married forever. It is so fun to watch and we love that one. So that is one of the one things I suggest you do. And two, there's a, it's called a quest or it's like a, <clears throat> it's a scavenger hunt for adults. Like kids are not allowed at this, but that show is so funny too. And like everyone gets to participate. So I suggest those are my main things that every cruise line is different. Every, they have different activities for everything. Um, but there's all kinds of stuff. There's sometimes magic shows, there's comedy shows. There's just a whole variety of things like ice sculpting, uh, usually a hairy chest contest. That's usually hilarious. Um, so there's so much stuff to do. Just do it. I mean, it's your cruise. Just mark down on your little daily sheet and just get it done and do it. Um, because you, you won't regret it. I mean, it, it's just so fun. Um, my next thing is, so when you get on the port, like when you get out to the port, you can, you can already either have your excursion set up, like you could have booked it through Carnival, through Royal, wherever you're going through, you can already book it through your cruise beforehand. Um, what we do, and this is just our personal preference is the reason why we're going on vacations is because we want the beach. And when we want the beach, we want all-inclusive beach. So we actually go online and we look at the different ports and um, we see who is offering like a resort for a day pass, which that means they usually include all your food, all of your drinks, that's alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks, and you get to be on the beach basically the entire time you're there. The only thing that you have to pay for is usually just your taxi ride to get there. And sometimes taxi rides are usually about 15 to $20 per ride there and per ride back, depending on how many people you have. Um, but we like to do the all-inclusive resort. It's resort for a day. You can look it up online um, if you don't want to go through the cruise ship. Now, if this is your first cruise and you're kind of skeptic and you're just like, okay, I don't want to chance that, then you can go through Carnival or you can go through Royal or you can go through Norwegian and um, you can actually book excursions through their site. But we personally do not do that. We do a resort for a day. We usually, um, they make you pay a down payment. And then when you get there, you pay the rest. And usually you can't, um, it's either you can't pay with card or you can't pay with cash to make sure you read those restrictions and you have enough, you know, to pay that off. But we do that for all three ports. If we're on a seven day, we usually do all inclusive for all three days. Um, we've done zip lining in Jamaica. And that was fun. Um, I mean, we've done we've done different stuff, but by far, like I said, this will be our upcoming fifth cruise. By far, our favorite is just doing the resort for a day, just chilling out and um, on the beach, drinking, eating, you know. And usually, we personally bring our own snorkeling stuff. Now, I don't use fins because I'm not coordinated at all, so I can't do that. But me and my husband both bring our goggles, but we actually have a mask that goes on and has a thing that comes out. But you can bring your own goggles and your own little snorkeling thing, and that can save you some money because sometimes if you go to the all-inclusive, they'll be like, oh, you can do that too, but you have to pay extra. But some will actually include it, but we like to bring our own stuff. Um, I don't do fins for one because it just lugs down the your luggage and you have to bring more and and I don't like doing that. So instead of just bringing like the mask, it's a lot smaller and you don't have to bring as much. Um, but we do that and I will say that it's awesome. It's an awesome experience. 
We've done it in uh, Cozumel. That's our favorite to go snorkeling at. Um, and I see, I mean, you see the fishes and it's so stinking cool. And it's like a once in a lifetime experience. We do have, um, we have a little GoPro, but it's actually an off-brand GoPro. Um, it's called like a Geek Pro. We bought it off Amazon. Um, but it's this little thing. It's stinking cool. Um, it comes with like this entire package, like different little accessories and everything. Um, you are able to clip it to your mask so you can like swim and look at the fish or you can even put it on your lanyard. There's an attachment for a lanyard. Um, so if you wanted to just kind of hold it up under the water, you can, but I just like to have that for when we go snorkeling. Um, even if that's not one of our excursions and we bought our own stuff, we'll just do it when we're at the all inclusive down at the beach. Um, and then I also bring these things. These are waterproof cell phone cases because if y'all are like me, you like to take pictures and I have a camera, but I hardly ever use my camera to take pictures. Uh, I usually use my phone. So I use this. You can put these on lanyards too. I bought these off Amazon. It came two to a package. Um, so those are real nice to have. Uh, so you can use those for your phone if you don't have money for the Geek Pro or whatever and you just want to use your phone. Um, it's pretty good. Um, so you, when you ride in a taxi to wherever you're going, try to get as many people as you can in it. Like if you know if you met someone on the cruise ship that are going to a certain place or you see them standing out there, ask them where they're going um, because you may be able to ride together and get the, the price cheaper. Like I said, it's usually about $15, $20. If you get more people, um, then obviously it's going to be cheaper for you. Uh, I, will, I will let you know that when you get into port, there's going to be people trying to sell you stuff left and right. Um, if you do not want to shop, just keep walking. Just say no thank you because, I mean, they will start putting stuff on your wrist, everything, especially in Mexico. Uh, I mean, you have to think these, these ports, this is all that they do is just tourism. That's how they make their money. So they will harass you, harass you, harass you. Um, you just do whatever you want to do. If you want to shop around, shop around because, um, I mean, you can make deals. You can get stuff cheap. But if you don't want to shop around, just keep going. Don't feel obligated to do anything that you don't want to do. Um, we bring $50 in ones, sometimes $100. Um, right before we go to the, the cruise, we go and to the bank, get the ones. And what we do with that is we tip. When you get to port and you get at your parking, they usually shuttle you over. Um, and you have the porters that bring in your bags and they put up. You can tip those. Everyone will say that they make a lot of money. They actually make like 20 something dollars an hour, but we still tip them a few dollars. So, you know, cause I mean, our bags are heavy cause when you're on a cruise, you usually, they say that you have like a limit, but you really don't have a limit. They don't check it. Um, so I pack our bags full. I have a bad habit of that taking more than what we need. Um, but we, we, we tip the, the porters like two, three dollars. Um, me and my husband each time whenever they're doing our bags. Um, but we also use it for, you have a guy that comes in, your steward, he cleans your room, he does everything. You have one person and he does like an entire floor. He gets so much done like so quickly. Um, that's on all of our cruise ships. We loved, we loved our stewards. They were awesome on every single one, regardless of the cruise line. We like to tip them because, I mean, they, they work really hard. And one thing is you tip them, then you get better service too. And, like, we had um, on three of our cruises, we had ice brought to our room every night because we brought the Cokes with us. And so some nights we would like to have our Coke and we didn't want to go all the way, you know, to the nearest um, Coke fountain or whatever with the drink package. We just had our own and so we just wanted ice to, to keep it cool. And um, we would always, they would have it sitting in our room for us every single night. And that's what we told them the first, the very beginning, because they usually come to your room, ask you if you have any, like, specific requests. And uh, we usually tell them ice. And so every night we come into our room when our bed's made, they have ice in there. So that's super awesome. Um, and you can, you can just ask them for anything that you need. Usually they come and make little towel animals, and, and they're just really great. Um... You can bring your own fan. A lot of people, like me and my husband, we like to sleep with some kind of noise because it's actually really quiet. Um, we bring our own little little bitty fan with us just for the noise. You can bring that and uh, pack it in your bag. Um, but like I said, check with your, your cruise line 
whatever specific one you're going on because everyone may be different. Um, I will let you know. So we've been on Carnival. We've been on Norwegian. We've been on Royal. Royal Caribbean is by far our favorite. It is more pricey. Um, so if you're not able to afford that, then I would look into the other two cruise lines. Um, there's other cruise lines like Princess and Celebrities. Now those are going to be up there. That's price wise. Like I, I ain't got the money for that. Um, but we use Royal and we really like, uh, Royal. I mean, we've used it and we've done Carnival twice, but we prefer Royal. And I think you, you get treated more like, um, royalty really on that cruise line. And, um, we're really looking forward to our one in March cause this will be our second Royal, but our first one was just hands down the best experience we've ever had. We also like the layout on, um, Royal and Norwegian, their food, like they have, um, just like these center like they um have different places for different food versus carnival they have like a almost like a lunch line so you have to stand in line and go around and now i don't know if that's on every cruise ship because i've only been on the two that come out of galveston i've been on carnival magic and carnival valor and that's just how they were set up is like you had to stand in a line every breakfast lunch dinner all that stuff um, the food is usually good. I'll warn you, like, it's not going to be like this most amazing food you've ever had. I mean, it's, it's kind of like school cafeteria food. Like it, it's, you know, you have the cheeseburgers, the French fries, the pizza, different stuff like that, but we love it. We love the food. Um, some, some, um, cruise lines offer free room service at night. Look into that. See if yours offers that because if so, take advantage of it because some nights you, I will say you will eat more on your cruise than you've ever imagined before. Like you'll just keep eating and eating and eating. Um, take advantage of it. Do do that and uh, and eat what you can. You know it's your vacation. Do what you want to do. Um, I mean, there's it's so much fun. Cruises are fun. We are addicted to cruises. We've done an all inclusive resort where we just went and stayed there, and I still think that we prefer. Um, the, the cruise, the cruise lines over it, um, just do your research, look into it, um, just make sure that it's, it's something you want to do. We've had balconies on two of our cruises, love the balconies. I mean, every morning you go sit out there, you can have coffee delivered to your room in the morning, go and sit out on the balcony, look at the water. I mean, it's nice. Um, even if you're not seasick, Go ahead and bring some seasick sea medicine, nausea, patches, whatever, because I'm not a normally seasick person, but um, sometimes if you go uh, at a certain time and there's a storm coming, it can get a little bit crazy and you that little patch or the germamine or whatever will help you. Um, so go ahead and do that even if you don't think that you're going to have any issues. Just do it. Don't overpack. I have a very bad habit of overpacking. You don't need that much. You have, um, most cruises have a fancy night, like captain's dinner or whatever. Um, we've dressed up for that before. It's fun if you like to dress up. You don't have to go to those, so don't feel obligated to go to those if you don't want to dress up in a suit and a nice, like, almost prom looking dress. You don't have to do it. You can just go and eat at the, um, the, not in the restaurant. They have just, like, the cafeteria food. You have like a fancy restaurant at night where you go and eat. You can go, you can choose your times. You can do any time. Um, you can do a specific time. We like to do any time just because we don't like to be rushed. Because if there's some other activities going, we want to be able to go whenever we want to go. Um, but you, if you don't want to go on those captain's night or the fancy nights, you don't have to. Just go down to the, to the other deck and just get you some regular food, some cheeseburgers, some french fries. Um, you can, when you're in the fancy restaurant, you can order more than one thing. So say they're, they're wanting you to pick out your appetizer, your entree, your dessert, all that. You can be like, I want two of these. Like I want two, two, um, of these chocolate cakes or whatever. I want to try this cheesecake and this chocolate cake. You can tell them there's not a limit. I mean, not saying go overeat, whatever, but if you want to try more than one, just be like, hey, can I have this? I mean, they, they won't deny you because it's all included um, in your price. If you go on Carnival, there is a dessert called chocolate melting cake. Try it. It's delicious. 